And we have a, a volunteer here. Yeah. Nice to meet you. David. David, nice to meet you, David. And sir? Reed. Reed. Reed, nice to have you here. Here's the idea, folks. Um, we start with nothing. A very valuable a talent here in show business. Start with nothing. Take it, twist it, turn it, make it look a little bit more like a silver dollar. That looks like a silver dollar, but it's not. I'm here to tell you the truth. It's just an illusion. I mean, it looks like I take it over here, but I don't. See, it's back over here. It looks like I take it over here, but it's back over here. It's an illusion. That's the way it looks. Some people think to do that illusion, you have to have two coins. It looks like they're in the same place at the same time. It looks like two. It's just the way I'm moving them around. It's kind of hard to tell. Really, um, I don't know, if does it look like two or does it look like three? It looks like three coins, doesn't it? Um, three silver dollars. Now, here's the idea. I start with the three coins in one hand, give them a squeeze, and invisibly one will fly through the air and end up on this side over here. That leaves me with two. One, two. The next one's going to go up the sleeve, across the chest, down the other sleeve. I tell you what's going to happen in advance so you can watch it. There it is. Watch. Here it goes. Over here like that. There's a two over here like that. One over here like this. Now, because this is a videotape, but we're going to and teach you all how to do this later, I'm going to tell you how it happens now. I'm going to narrate it one step at a time. You'll see exactly how it goes across. The coin starts here. I then shake the coin. That softens up its molecular structure. Makes It allows me to make it smaller and smaller and smaller until it's nearly invisible like this. In its nearly invisible state, I flip it up through the air. It lands over here. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Missed it. Well, on its way to China now. Straight down through the center of the earth. The only way to get the coin back is to get these two coins to go after it. it they will catch it and come back, but they all come back Chinese. It's kind of strange. But there they are. Three Chinese coins. You can tell they're Chinese coins because they're made out of brass. They have that hole going stamped right through the center. And there's Chinese characters that actually say real, genuine Chinese coin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Martha Stewart switched out creations right there. Now, here's, here's how it works. Uh, you know that these are actually not Chinese coins. It's just an illusion I'm creating in your mind. Because after all, when I stood here before, with no prior uh, warning, I had um, a silver dollar here like this at the very beginning of the routine. And this bottom coin also was a silver dollar. And this coin over here was a silver dollar. Indeed, I'm holding three silver dollars. And it just looked momentarily like I had those Chinese coins. <laughs> I know, it's kind of weird. I'll get rid of those. We don't need them anymore. It gets confusing. Instead, if I reach behind my hand, I have one coin. We'll use that. Behind my elbow, I have another coin. We'll use that one. And this last one over here out in the, out in the air, that last one makes three um, yeah, uh, silver dollars, like I said before. Wouldn't get you for the world. There they are. Three silver.